Warranty void if seal is broken. So now let's just carefully, oh. Greetings internet and welcome back to Crazy Ken. It is a very special day. You see, we have a little La C rugged drive here. This thing has served me well. Thunderbolt, SSD, external, tough, portable, and really fast. I've been using this to edit video off of for years. But alas, it is time to upgrade it from a quarter terabyte to a half a terabyte solid state drive, and that's what we're doing today. But something else has also come to my attention. I've been doing these types of little video log style videos about tech processes for a long time. Internally, I like to call them TVLs or tech video logs, and they date back a long way on this channel. And usually I've been able to conquer a lot of things by myself, but today, <laughs> I think it's only appropriate if I call in the expert when it comes to solid state drives. Who else do I go with? None other than our good friend, 420. Let's give him a call. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> it's the SSD alarm. Someone's in trouble. Quick. To the SSD mobile. Oh, wait, I don't have one of those yet. Well, I should probably just answer the phone. SSD hotline, how can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, Draga. Okay, I need an SSD. Stat. Damn it, I thought I blocked this number. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I think I can help you with that. Do you mind if I put you on a quick hold? Yeah, sure, no problem at all. Take your time. Huh. Three days later. Come on, I know you're there. Hello? Hey, you're supposed to be helping me. I know you can hear me. Dude, this isn't funny. I need that upgrade. I'm running out of room to store my poor professional work. Three days later. Thank you for holding, sir. What sort of SSD would you like? Gah, finally. Okay. I want something fast. Uh-huh. Something big. Go on. Something bold. I like where this is going. And something cheap, because I ain't got no money. Excellent choice. I have just the product for you. What capacity, form, and interface? Hang on, I'm gonna have to look up those words quick. Let's see. Thank you, Google. I need a 512 gigabyte, two and a half inch SATA 3 drive. <laughs> uh, it's pronounced SATA. Uh, no, it's clearly SATA. 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 Say ta. It's Sata. <sighs> anyway, I'll get that ride over to you. That'll be eight seventy nine ninety five after taxes. Can I have the number on your credit card? Sure. Let me just get my wallet. Okay. The number is five. Okay, it went through. It'll be right over to you. Now please, hang up. Hey, thanks. Well, that should be on its way soon. Oh, it must be here! Let's get started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Draga has delivered. Behold, a SanDisk solid state drive. So this 512 gig is about to be inside this case. You can buy these drives still. That's not a problem. But I don't really need a separate enclosure and all that other stuff. I just want the internal drive upgraded. So to save money, that's why I went to Duraga to get this sucker. So now the other drive will kind of just function as a drive itself. Sometimes cameras need drives and you can just throw them in there. You can put them in another enclosure, whatever. So, let's uh, have a little unboxing party. Okay, the X400 SSD. Sounds important. So let's uh, have a look. 
There we go. And you following me, camera guy? Yeah, like I can afford a camera guy. And there we go. Okay, here is the drive itself. Let's take it out of the condom here. Uh, let's see, there we go. <laughs> yes, my favorite. Attention, observe precautions for handling. Electrostatic sensitive device. There is nothing in this box, so I don't see any precautions. Maybe they're somewhere else. But anyway, I have not shorted out a drive in my life, so hopefully we don't start now. Actually, I'm not going to remove it from the condom yet because I want to prep something else. So you're going to just kind of sit right there. So before I actually remove this from the condom unit, we'll hold off on that for now, I need to take the drive out of here. That's what I want to do next. And I'm going to throw it into this cheap little thing. Yes, this cheap thing, which is actually by Rosewill, is really good and it has served me well over many years. Basically, it'll take an internal drive and convert it to an external drive. In this case, it will take a two and a half inch form factor with SATA and it will convert it to USB. And you can even put the whole drive and the board inside this nifty case. Now, this is a rugged, or a rugged, yeah, can't pronounce anything. Uh, so we gotta remove it from its case, its shock absorbent case. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh mama, that's it, ah, oh, there we go. Let's just have someone walk in on you watching this Crazy Ken episode with a lot of grunting and moaning sounds from some stranger, totally normal. Okay, so this is the case. It looks like we just have some uh, Phillips screws to tackle here. That shouldn't be too difficult for this Phillips screwdriver. And when you do this stuff, like this is a Crazy Ken episode. I do not want to be educational really. Um, but I, I do like to give some pointers every so often. Always just separate your screws, and it's nice to have a magnetic screwdriver as well. Uh, yes, because, you know, metal magnets. It helps things stick together and move easier. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, lefty loosey, righty tidy. I've explained that mnemonic device to some people, and they're actually kind of surprised, because... There's been times where I ask someone to unscrew something and they're like, which direction? <laughs> and I'm just like, which direction? It's the same direction as always, at least in the US. I've never encountered a screw or anything that twists for tightness go any other way besides lefty loosey and righty tighty. Okay, so now the metal enclosure is unscrewed and I don't know if this is, I think this is right side up. So now let's just, uh, it looks like we have some restraints a flat head standard whatever you want to call this tool oh there we go and just kind of wiggle the inside there well, we got one side out no problem there we go so now let's just carefully oh <laughs> okay uh let's just carefully break everything so now i should really be doing this on an anti-static mat again this is not supposed to be educational material um, but anyway, this is the board and the Samsung SSD that was originally inside this Lossy drive. So now, essentially, we're going to take this off and put this in there. So now let's move that to the side. All right, so we got that removed. Look at that butte. Man, these things are light. All right. Now let's see. Warranty void if seal is broken. Yes, this probably was expired a long time ago. And let's just pop that out. It looks like it's already got some kind of shielding or protection there. I have no idea what that is. But yes, this is still a perfectly good SSD. I could throw this in a black magic camera or put it in put it in some other enclosure, you know? So, yeah, let's keep that around for a while, right? Actually, it will need to go into an enclosure soon because I need to migrate all the data. In fact, <laughs> pretty much any video you watch on this channel was on here at one point. It's all thanks to this little thing. So yes, it is backed up, but we have to migrate about 200 gigs of data to the new drive still. But first, let us insert the beautiful new SanDisk. Right, so let's line it up here. We got our pins. And we'll just kind of Oop, flip it around and actually do it right. Just kind of dock it like freaking Apollo 13 or something. And clunk. There we go. So, 
That's basically the docking procedure. And now let's screw in the screws just to kind of restrain it a bit, make sure it stays safe, keep the screws uh, separate here. Something's not working here. Now it's going down. Sing a little song to yourself. Keep yourself sane while you screw in the bodies. Whoa, that got kind of dirty. I was talking about like screw bodies. Is that a thing? Anyway, so yes, the drive is now in here. Very good. And now let's put it back in the enclosure, which I don't exactly remember how it was. I believe the screws would face down to line up with, uh, with that, so. Kind of like that, and then this doohickey will line up. Uh, let's see, Thunderbolt's that way, so this way. I'm trying not to obstruct the view for those playing at home. The Crazy Ken Home Game, Home Edition. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, it's not going in all the way. Ha 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 ha! Dirty jokes. Let's ignore those. Yeah, it's not going in all the way on this side. But yeah, it's something's not lining up right over there. Well, I actually think that's as far in as it can go because I'm pushing against it and it doesn't seem to want to move in any further. So I think that's negligible and we will move on with that. If you work for NASA, you probably don't want to say that though. This isn't NASA. All right, so now we just take our shock absorber and we fiddle this back in there. Yeah, there we go. Orange is the new orange. So now we got our awesome little adapter kit and you can screw in the drives as well for security, but we're only putting this drive on here for a migration and then that's it. So I'm not gonna bother with that. So basically it's as simple as putting it in like that. And bon appetit. So now this is ready to go off of USB into a computer for migration. Okay, so the lossy is all put together and plugged in and boom. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. So let's make sure it's working okay. So since this drive has not been used before, we do need to initialize it. And it looks like we have SanDisk, that's right so far, 512 gigs. So it's got the storage space and everything down. That's good. All right, so. We'll hit the erase button to format this basically. And we'll use MacOS Extended Journaled and give it the same name as the other one. And erase. And there we go. Right on the desktop. So now we have a brand new 512 gig SSD external with Thunderbolt ready to use and ready to migrate. Okay, so I just hooked up the Samsung drive with that external adapter. So now we have two Cosmos. One is old, one is new. So basically all I should have to do is really simple and it should be super easy. So here are the Final Cut Pro scratch disks and all that good stuff. I should be able to select them, go to copy, open up the new 512 gig drive, right click, and paste. So now we're migrating all the data from one drive to the other, about, yeah, 207 gigs. So it's going to take a while because, again, this enclosure is USB 2. So the reading, or excuse me, the writing to that lot C drive will be pretty fast. But the reading is going to be slow because this is USB 2 and that's Thunderbolt. All right, so now this is the fun part where we just watch it go and slowly go insane as the progress bar ticks along. Slowly go insane. Slowly go insane. Slowly go insane. Oh, shit. Blink, blink, blink. All right, it's still going. Uh, I think it's taking a little bit longer than the initial estimated amount of time, but it's USB 2, so <laughs> it's going to be slow. So about 31 fake minutes left. It's probably gonna be longer than that, but hey, it's still going. So far, this is still working. After this is done, we'll uh, run a speed test. 
and uh, see if it holds up. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Lassi Rugged Thunderbolt 1 drive has been upgraded from a 256 to a 512 gigabyte SSD. We also went from a Samsung to a SanDisk SSD as well. Wow, that was a lot smoother than the last episode. Oh my gosh, that was full of conundrums. If you have not seen that yet, definitely check it out. So anyway, just to kind of have a nice send off here, let's open up the Blackmagic disk speed test. I love this utility. So, we're going to stress test this drive with a 5 gig file, and it simulates the performance of different types of video formats and resolutions, and it sees how well it can read and write them. So, let's run the test and see what we get. And the right is off to 299.8, it's dropping down, now it's going back up again, it's just kissing 300, down to 299.5, the right is hovering around there, and the read kicks up to 367, 370, 372, 373, 373, oh, it's going up, it's going up, it's approaching 380, 380, 380, can we get 380, 377, 377 megabytes per second on the read, and the right has 299, 300.9, 300.9, can we get to 301, 301, no, 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 we can't, anyway, yes, that's, uh, <laughs> exaggerations aside, there's a lot of green check marks on there, that's good, so with the 5 gigabyte file stress test, we are looking at a quick test average of about 300 megabyte per second write times, or excuse me, write speeds, and about 381.8 megabyte per second read speeds. So pretty damn good, considering this is still a Thunderbolt 1 device. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in, and thank you to the manager of the SSD hotline, Draga1. Thank you for holding, sir. What? You have saved this production. But wait, there's more! Remember when I was talking about the trials and tribulations of the previous episode with the macOS 9 installation? Tune in, because soon, the dramatic, anticlimactic conclusion to that two-parter series. So stick around for that. Alright guys, we'll see you in the not-too-distant future.